What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You know who it is by now. Jimothy. So ladies and gents, what you are seeing is my remote dual setup and the reason I'm showing you this is because I have been remote dueling ladies and gents and I've been challenging you guys and it's been an absolute blast to play some of you guys from across the world. I have been getting my ass absolutely handed to me but that is all part and parcel of the fun. So if you are interested in getting involved in some remote duels with myself, definitely jump in my discord, hit me up with a message and we'll definitely get into it now i know i announced this before but i just wanted to give you a little bit of a preview of what i'm going to be doing with regards to the giveaway so i'm planning to give away a binder full of cards when i get to a thousand subscribers and the way that i'm going to do this is i'm going to host some kind of tournament on my um uh, channel or should i say my discord um probably going to be dueling book and obviously the winner is going to win the um binder now you can have a look at the binder, it is not finished by any means or any stretch of the imagination. Definitely going to put in some secret rares when I get a hold of some. A lot of the cards in there have been donated, so big shout out to um, Josh, big shout out to Tom, who's actually started me off. So yeah, ladies and gents, it is here, it's going to happen. Get to a thousand subscribers, we're getting this done and dusted. We're going to find out who's the best duelist amongst my subscribers. So definitely get in the uh, Discord if you want to get involved, ladies and gents. Okay, so today we're going to be discussing two cards which I think are going to be definitely mainstays of the upcoming meta. And the first card I'm going to speak about is Ghost Olga. Ghost Olga is secretly strong right now. It literally hits qu quite a few of the more prominent cards in the meta game. That being in Appaloosa, any kind of field spell that has an ignition effect, um, IP Mascarena. SP Little Knight, anything on field is actually pretty cracked. And the reason why it's really important, especially with Dex trying to funnel straight into Appaloosa, um, it stops the Appaloosa negate. Appaloosa needs to be able to reduce its attack. And if Ghost Ogre is chained to Appaloosa and it gets destroyed, Appaloosa can no longer re um, reduce its attack, which effectively means it doesn't have any kind of negation, which is very, very powerful, especially as you can trigger Ghost Ogre on both, uh, both players' turns, which is super important. Um, it's also a little bit unassuming people are playing with in terms in terms of their play they're kind of just playing recklessly and not thinking that ghost dog is in the format when secretly it really is uh, especially with the prominence of tempai which i'm actually got my core ladies and gents i've got my core almost complete and i might even take it to a regional this weekend but that's neither here nor there but what i'm saying to you guys is definitely be aware of it especially some of the applications that it has in the meta game as well as its effectiveness of just removing bodies off field now obviously in a deck like i don't know tempai for example um, it can pretty much OTK anyway, but just clearing the field makes it all that much easier and that goes for any deck going second Especially when you've got a board full of monsters removing a singular threat is very very powerful um, It's not always as impactful as you'd hope it to be but with the amount of interaction now coming from a lot of different angles and how effective or non-effective on the negates are because they've effectively been kind of like neutered a little bit Ghost Ogre is definitely a card I will start to tech into my um, strategies. The second and final card I wanted to quickly discuss in this very, very short video, ladies and gents, because I've been super busy recently. Obviously, there hasn't really been much on the channel, but cross out Designator. Now, we've seen um, some of the results from YCS Riley and obviously Snake Eye is still a deck. It's still a very powerful deck, probably the best deck. However, some of the cards that I've been playing in people's main decks is definitely something that people can prepare for. Um, and especially with the, the upcoming cards, like, I don't know, uh, I don't know, you bow deck, for example. Um, there's cards in there that have a certain degree of overlap. Hand traps are going to be everywhere still, in my opinion. I feel like being able to being able to try and prevent your opponent from setting up a board as opposed to just breaking the board is probably a little bit more optimal. That's not to say board breakers are anywhere outside of the meta because with the removal of like the omni negates and such you can actually take a board breaker approach and be pretty successful which is something that i like about the ban list you've got a little bit of flexibility in doing both however it's still a bit of a risky strategy you might not draw them um they might not be effective they might set up some kind of i don't know um some kind of protection that protects their board from getting outed so it's really really a bit of a guessing game as to how this format's gonna go and i feel like hand traps are the safer option because they also insulate you when you go first you've got a bit of interaction 
whereas board breakers are purely sided in when you go in second so i do feel like hand traps are definitely going to be in the format and cross out designator is definitely a card that can negate some of those hand traps as well as a lot of the snake eye mirrors now it's no surprise this has already been played um and it's already very very effective especially when you're calling like snake eye ash because um, you don't really want to hit it with a core by the grave um, because it will just affect you on your own turn. But Cross Out of Des Designator is absolutely perfect. So it's definitely a card I think that you guys should consider kind of like incorporating in your strategies, especially going forward, ladies and gents. And with the presence of Tempai, it's going to be useful somewhere because they are going to hand trap you to death. But anyway, just a quick video today, getting back into the groove, we've got some things lined up, especially going forward, um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you do want to get involved with some um, remote remote duels, subscriber duels, definitely get in my Discord, get at me and we will get it going ladies and gents. But we find ourselves at the end of another video, if there are any cards that you think that could potentially be good in the upcoming meta game. Definitely get at me in that comment section below and I will definitely make a note of them because it's always good to share ideas. And if you do like this content, you know what to do by now. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, all of that beautiful good stuff. And I will definitely, definitely see you guys on the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.